Through the morning, we'll be seeing a gallery of images of everyday Americans. Michelle Miller is our guide, and to begin, a look at people at work. Among the statesmen and presidents at the National Portrait Gallery in Washington, D.C., there's now a sandwich maker, a seamstress, and a grape picker. American portraiture has been about the elite, where the wealthy subject was able to hire an artist. So you wanted to open it up? Oh, definitely. It's important to make sure that we are representing multiple perspectives, that we are representing everyone who walks through our doors. Dorothy Moss is co-curator of The Sweat of Their Face, portraying American workers. How many pieces are in this collection? There are 80 works of art in all media. And this isn't your typical display on labor? No, this is not a history of the American labor movement. This is portrayals of everyday workers. The real people. The real people. Real people, like the migrant mother in Dorothea Lange's familiar photograph, and Willie G in a painting by Robert Henry. This is the son of freed slaves. He was a paper boy in New York City and delivered papers to the artist's studio. So the artist chose him. Yes, I love this portrait because it exemplifies such empathy. It's such a tender portrayal. Tender portrayals of difficult lives. These are the people who are out working constantly, working in difficult circumstances. This is immigrant labor, child laborers. There are people who tend gardens, people who are part of our lives, our families. This is who we are as a country. 